Hi, and welcome back to our Ask the Agronomist video series. I am Phil Long, Precision Agronomy Advisor with Latham High Tech Seeds. And this week, we're gonna be talking a little bit about 300 bushel an acre soybeans. I mean, 300 pounds per acre of nitrogen on soybeans. So both of those things kind of sound crazy, but I wanna to talk to you a little bit today about why we're doing what we're doing. So we're in the middle of our high yield soybean plot out here, taking a look at where I put about 300 pounds of nitrogen side dress on these soybeans and some of the differences. So. Why is this important? Well, we talk a lot about why soybeans don't yield so much. Well, unfortunately, we have to get to the point where we have enough nitrogen for soybeans. Typically, we see 50 to 75% of that come from the nodules and the roots. So that leaves another 25 to 50% of that coming from the soil or nitrogen that we put down uh, as fertilizer. So we need a lot. If you're looking at an 80 bushel an acre crop, like we sometimes hear about, that's requiring about 430 pounds of nitrogen in the soybean plant to take up throughout the year. So it's got to come from somewhere. So I put this down side dress and I just want to show a few of the differences here. I've got the same soybean here on my, my left, your right, that uh, did not have nitrogen on it. And uh, these roots look a little smaller, but I have a few more plants here. But uh, if you look at them up close, the ones that had 300 pounds of nitrogen on them, have a little bit of a common theme, and that is most of the nodules are right around the tap root, the, the very uh, inside part of the root system. It didn't make its way out onto the lateral roots more compared to these ones that didn't have any nitrogen on them, where there's a lot more nodules out here, even much further out on the lateral roots. So why does that happen? Typically, the more nitrate you have in the soil around the root system, the more it's gonna essentially decrease nodulation. So those nodules won't form if you're seeing if the plant has plenty of nitrate available. So as the roots reached out in the middle of that row, they realized they had plenty of nitrate available, no need to go through the process of, of forming those nodules and making it the hard way, essentially. So are we replacing what these nodules are already doing for us? Well, yes, to some extent, and we'll find out if there is a benefit. Likely with 300 pounds, it's not economic, but it helps us understand how we can learn from putting nitrogen on soybeans? Is it a proximity thing or something that we can uh, continue to experiment with to understand how we can add a little bit more nitrogen nu nutrition for soybeans to get them to boost their yield? So typically soybeans are about 60% protein and oil. Contrast that with corn. Corn is about 75% starch. It takes a lot less energy from the plant to produce starch. So hence why soybeans have lower yields than corn. Uh, always have and always always will. So I just want to mention before uh, we finish up here though too that where we're at in the season, where most everybody's at, it's about R5. I pulled one of these uh, pods off, the top four nodes, and if you look at it, there is, uh, hold it up to the light, there is an eighth of an inch soybean in the pod, so that means we're at R5. And this is a very critical time for soybeans, and I mean that because everything's changing. So halfway through R5 onto R6, Essentially, the growth is going to stop, the branching is going to stop, all that stuff's going to slow down and refocus on putting all the nutrients from the leaves into the seed. So it's still going to be taking up nutrients, there's still going to be some root, go root growth going on, nitrogen production by those nodules, until midway between R6 and R7. So when they start getting yellow, they're going to slow down on that. But there's still a lot going on in the plant, and I've mentioned before, uh, my when I compare things to hail damage, it's not fun to think about, but if you think about it in terms of hail damage, if we were to strip all these leaves off here at our five, we could lose approximately 75% 75, 75 of the yield potential. If we make it to the green bean stage at our six, we're gonna lose about 50%, and then halfway past our six, so midway between our six and our seven, when they're starting to turn yellow, we'd only lose about 25%. So it makes a big difference. Uh, in terms of where we're at in the season, and this really is the critical time. So keep that in mind when you're thinking about next year and looking at your soybeans here for this, this fall. If you have any questions about nitrogen or anything else on soybeans, please reach out to us at one eight seven seven go latham or visit us on our website at LathamSeeds.com. Thanks for watching this week's Ask the Agronomist.